to Kevin Pretlow for the go-ahead bucket. And Clayton comes back to win it. My name is Kevin Pretlow, and I'm a senior at Clayton High School, and I play basketball. Uh, Kevin is probably one of the funnest kids I've ever had to coach. Um, he is a uh, always smiling, uh, always engaged. One of the uh, true Clayton type kids, a kid that really gets involved in a bunch of different sports and different activities, and um, you know grows uh, every year as you know a hard work working young man who's definitely progressed as he went through high school. Cool guy, he's funny, he works hard in school on the basketball court. He started out as this little kid who, whenever he would come out, I would always laugh, like, how are you going to make it on a basketball court? To be a basketball player, you have to have a lot of commitment, especially with Rago, because he doesn't let anything slide without any consequences. Everybody has their own special role. So if I tell God you're going to make it, that means nobody you're going to make it. Every practice, he would put in the work. He would, uh, he would always listen to coaching. The hardest part of playing basketball is probably commitment because we have practice every day. We have to stay at the school for like seven hours, including basketball and school. It's hard. The most rewarding part of playing basketball, getting W's, and especially last year winning the sectional championship with all my teammates. Kevin's greatest strength as a basketball player is probably um, how, how many different things he can do. He's kind of like my, um, I guess, utility knife, utility tool, whatever you want to call it. The idea that no matter what I need him to do, he can do it, you know, and he goes out there and works his butt off. His ability to, to handle the ball and get to the basket uh, through lots of hands and, and bigger bodies is, and, and his ability to control once he gets there and finish, is, it, it's pretty incredible. When I'm on the court, what's going through my mind is that I want to do my best. And do his best for my teammates. He's very aggressive and he's good at using his body to shield off defenders because we have a saying in basketball, sometimes you have to learn how to play small. Some kids never quite figure it out, you know, so if you're a small kid, you gotta play differently than if you were 6'2 or 6'3. <laughs> My coach definitely had an impact on me because I'm a whole different player than what I was before I came and played for Coach Rago. He pushed me to limits that I never thought that I could reach and he just kept working with me all four years. I would hope that he would follow just from the model that I set in terms of consistency. Be consistent with your effort and if you're consistent with your effort, I, I think good things will come for you. You know, I think with Kevin, he's been pretty consistent with his commitment to the team over the last four years. The fact that he's able to do that as a senior is pretty cool like to joke around a lot. Um, I think I've had the ability to keep Kevin uh, in that joking mood when he probably could have gotten down. I think that's how I personally affected him as far as being you know, in, the, in these tough practices. Basketball's a grind. Um, so even if he might not be feeling like he wants to be at practice, uh, I feel like that's somehow I've affected him is kind of keeping him engaged and, and always trying to have a good time and making him understand that this is fun. My family, we, uh, I got my dad, my mom, and my sister. My mom definitely has an impact because she's my biggest supporter, my number one fan. My dad, he's the one that got me playing, to encourage me to play basketball in the first place. And my sister, she played basketball before I played basketball, so that made me want to play too. In 10 years, I probably see myself doing something with my hands, like engineering or something. Um, Kevin, uh, appreciate all the effort and all the time that you've put into the basketball team here at Clayton. Um, you embody exactly what I want out of a student athlete, which is a kid that truly commits to the program. You're a program player. You played for four years here at Clayton High School. You put a lot of time in. You've had your ups. You had your downs. You had a 30-point game a couple days ago. You had a five-point game last year. Whatever. But at the end of the day, the basketball part is not as important to me as it is as you just being a good quality person. You know. So I wish you the best of the luck with your senior year. I hope that everything goes the way that you plan. I hope that all your goals and achievements come forward even further in the future as you graduate high school and become a fine young man that I believe that you're capable of doing. So I wish you the best. Good luck in the future. Uh, Kevin, it's been a pleasure coaching you. Uh, you will be greatly missed. Um, I would encourage you keep working hard. Keep your uh, your happy attitude. Your, your, your always wanting to dance and have fun attitude in all situations in life. It will help you. Um, I'm encouraging you uh, push forward. 
you know, times will get tough throughout uh, the rest of this senior year and then even next year as you move on to other bigger things. Um, but keep that attitude and it's going to help you a lot. And, uh, and I'm going to miss you greatly, buddy. Love you.